welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Who were Witness Lee and Watchman Nee, and what did they teach? Well, I technically need to do this in reverse order, and here's why. Watchman Nee is what many people consider the originator, the founder of the home church movement in mainland China. And let me go ahead and, and go ahead and get out there. He's one of my personal heroes of the faith. First time I heard of Watchman Nee, first book I ever read of Watchman Nee, I mean, he was just captivating. And here's why. He was saved late in uh, his teenage years, I think about 19 or 20 years of age. And for the majority of his life, listen to this, he read the New Testament through once a week. Incredible. His devotion to the Lord. He was incarcerated for his faithfulness to the gospel. And story after story, he would win the prison guards to the Lord. It's just an amazing uh, biography if, if one is interested. Now, that being said, he pastored churches from prison. He would write letters. That sounds like somebody else pretty well known, the Apostle Paul. We have a collection of those. We put them in books. And those books, when you take them all together, are thousands and thousands of pages. Let me describe Watchman Nee from a Westerner's perspective. He is a Baptocostal. You say, what do you mean he's a Baptocostal? Well, when it comes to, quote, Baptist doctrine, saved by faith without works, absolutely, he is there. When it comes to faith and practice, the ordinance, he is there. The only thing that some may find a little quirky is he tends to get just a little, I don't want to call it Pentecostal, I want to call it spiritual. You remember, this guy's in prison in China under heavy-duty communism. He died in 1972. So just a hero of my faith. Now, for brevity's sake, who's Witness Lee? This is where it gets interesting. Witness Lee is the man who translated all of Watchman Nee's writings into English. And Witness Lee is not near as orthodox as Watchman Nee. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he translated his works into English, how do we know that he translated them properly? Would he have not put his own spin on it? And that's where it gets interesting. Some of those areas that I talked about are just a little unorthodox. Was that Witness Lee or was that Watchman Nee? Now, let me bring this all to a conclusion. When I was doing my PhD work, I actually wrote a prospectus on doing a dissertation based on Watchman Nee's ministry. I'll go ahead and tell you, I wanted to correlate Watchman Nee's view of evangelism as it related to his doctrine of spiritual warfare. I won't get into the dissertation because I never got to write it. And let me tell you why. When I submitted the prospectus, they asked me if I could read Mandarin Chinese in the original language. I mean, I could do Greek and Hebrew and German, but I couldn't do Mandarin Chinese. I said, I can't. They said, well, we're not going to allow you to do it because there is so much, uh, shall we say, questioning about Witness Lee's influence on the translation. We don't really know what is Watchman, what is Witness. And so again, there's this great conundrum out there. But one thing I will tell you, just based on biography alone, Watchman Nee, fabulous man of God, faithful literally to his death, Witness Lee, little suspect and got some really unorthodox ideas that may or may not have crept into the translation of Watchman Nee's writings. Insightful, great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.